it's Angela Huffman. I'm an APQS dealer and an educator with the APQS Long Arms for Lifelong Learning Center. In this video tutorial, we're going to look at a meander stipple path combined with loopies and using shapes that look like hearts with a little curl in the side. It can change up that heart to make a leaf design. This would be a nice filler as well as an all over edge to edge if you increase the density level. Generally, one of the first designs that a a uh, free motion quilter learns is an, a meander or a stipple. So there's really no difference between a meander and a stipple, it's just density level. So, um, and everybody calls them different things. You know, there's some fine line where a stipple becomes a meander and there's some fine line where a meander becomes a stipple. So that's generally what people start with. It kind of looks like jigsaw puzzle pieces, cast for the friendly ghost, dog bones, that sort of thing. Generally, the next thing that people step up to is the loopies. And so loopies, we've got loopies going um, clockwise and counterclockwise, and it's a good, easy way to travel around a quilt. Um, and based on those two things, the stipple or meander path and the loops, there's a whole other crop of uh, patterns that can be based off of those. So if I, um, let's say I've got something very romantic, uh, maybe it's a wedding quilt, I can do loops and then if I come in, I'm gonna do a heart now and I'm actually gonna do an upside down heart and that's probably one of the things that's hardest to get used to is how to do hearts upside down, right side up, left side, right side, because they need to be going in all different directions. So the first one I'm gonna do here is is um, actually upside down. So I've, I've come in and I've made the cleft of the heart. I'm gonna backtrack out and put the rest of the heart around it and then travel around with the loop and now I'm gonna do one right side up. And so where I come into that cleft, where I complete that uh, heart, then I get to decide where I'm gonna travel next. I'm actually gonna travel up. So I'm just gonna come out of it in this way, loop, let's do another heart, come out of it this way, loop, and another heart. And by the way, just so that you know, this was one of the hardest things that I had to learn as a quilter because I, for whatever reason, had a really hard time making hearts upside down, right side up, and you know, every way left to center. Um, so you may find there are certain designs that are harder than others. One of the things I wanted you to notice about this heart design is that there's very little difference between a heart and a leaf. Okay, did you see that I just made a leaf? Let's try it again. I'm gonna do a loop. I'm gonna make my heart, but I'm gonna curl this in, and it looks a little bit more like a leaf design. So very little difference between hearts and leaves. It's just that curl generally makes it look a little bit more leaf-ish, and keeping that cleft more straight makes it look a more, like a little more heart um, design than a leaf design. And I'm just using that kind of meander path to give me an idea of where I can go to fill in the space. So hearts and leaf meander. Thanks for watching. For more information about APQS machines, please visit APQS.com. Be sure to like us on our Facebook page and join the conversation. Subscribe to this YouTube channel so you're notified every time a new video is posted.